Hello. Uh, this is... I didn't plan on this, but uh, I was asked in the comments about the line file uh, feature uh, that some loggers provide, you know, so that we can uh, quickly find where we log this message in the source file. And this is quite a simple feature. The previous four episodes, episode 0, 1, 2 and 3 are standalone uh, episode and this uh, is an extra episode. In this episode, in episode 4, we're simply gonna add this line file feature uh, to our logger. Now, uh, C++ compilers do provide macros uh, to get line and the name of the file. If we look at the values that uh, are of those macros, it's 97, which is yes the line on which this macro is called is 97 uh, it works perfectly well and file is uh, our file the problem is the way we want this feature to work is we want to for example here we log this message and we want to log also file number 45 and the name of the file which is test.cpp right but if we use these macros in here, uh, the line is always going to be 97, which is the line in logger.h, and file is going to be logger.h. But we want line and file obviously different for every uh, call to the logger. And that's a problem. Uh, this is the main kind of, or the only difficulty in implementing this uh, feature is uh, precisely this. How do we have line and file for each call. Well, since we're using macros, line and file, uh, the solution would be also to create uh, a macro. So first off, uh, we are actually gonna add uh, arguments such as int line number and const char, I guess, source file, let's call it that. Uh, and this is log, which is private. And so let's create a macro here. Uh, we're gonna call it trace. Uh, we're gonna copy all uh, these public functions and give them int, int line. Given so here we pass line and source file, and we're gonna do the same for all of these. We will have another bunch of these functions, but with additional parameters. Here we have logger uh, trace, but here we pass a line, here we pass line, and here we pass file, and then a message, message, and then, uh, I don't remember, I think we args or something like that, args like that. Um, so I would add for the, all the rest of uh, the log functions and let's probably add so that we know it's a log, log trace like that and for every other. Uh, so yeah, oh, um, let's actually have also overloaded function. Uh, for log, so we're gonna uh, this function that we've implemented in the previous episodes is gonna remain. We're just adding uh, this additional function which has additional arguments, line number, and source file. And 
when we use this function, we're also gonna uh, print f. We're gonna print f uh, space on line uh, t in in uh, in s. And here we're gonna supply line number and source file. And the same for the f print f. So and in test here, uh, let's test out info. Okay, so as you can see, uh, hello user on line 13 in uh, test.cpp and let's see it here, line 13 test.cpp. Here we go, uh, we've implemented uh, this. So let's recap, we've created those uh, log macros, um, which have message and arguments. For example, here uh, there we use log info. Uh, in place of log info in our actual program, uh, this is pasted. And here we use line and file. So what actually happens is here um, this uh, gets called. And line and file are gonna be on this line. So macros, they replace uh, when the program uh, kind of compiles, uh, macros are being replaced by what's uh, inside of them. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that because here we use uh, simply to uh, also use uh, kind of arguments, right? Uh, we pass parameters in macro, so it's a bit more uh, complicated than simply replacing text. So, and basically, uh, that's uh, how we're able to call line and file on this line actually because of macros and because of the additional uh, data we had to uh, overload a log function uh, which takes uh, two more uh, parameters um, so we have now two log functions one is uh, without you know, line number and file name, the other supports that feature. And the same goes for these. So yeah, we just overload those functions uh, because they take additional two parameters and they pass those additional two parameters in the log function. Uh, and because the, we use additional two parameters, uh, the log function, this one is called and not that one. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Macros are, uh, it's a powerful tool. It's kind of meta uh, programming. You also should go easy on macros because uh, because they're so uh, powerful, they're also confusing. You should uh, definitely, you shouldn't overuse them. Um, so thank you for watching. This was an extra uh, episode. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, hopefully it was helpful, uh, thanks, bye.